Police Commissioner Dimitar Hristov has an unsolved case. A young woman went missing weeks ago. The search has led nowhere, so the Commissioner seeks magic assistance. This is not the first time that clairvoyants Elka and Anka have taken over investigations. They need no files or computer. All the details of the case flow directly from the Commissioner's mind into the magic wax. Elka and Anka then interpret the forms the wax takes for clues as to the woman's whereabouts. They say it's all clear. She quarrelled with her parents and will come back soon. Elka is a lot more worried about the Commissioner himself. She reads in his palms that he's overworked, tense and too worried. This is an exact science. It's ancient. All other sciences derive from it. We who still practice it are oppressed by politicians and the church because they want to keep the people in the dark. But we will never give up. The commissioner is ready for a close examination with the magic pendulum. It doesn't look good. His liver is diseased. His knee looks bad. Where the pendulum starts turning more, that's where the problems are in the body. That's where things are out of balance and there are changes in the body. It's a 100% surefire method. The commissioner is not 100% convinced by this diagnosis of his own case. The two soothsayers have been wrong in the past. I believe in these methods, but not every psychic has the same gifts. My body already feels a lot better. It's tingling wherever the pendulum swayed. After I solve my case, I'm going to have to look into these symptoms. Yakim Mihailov could help with that. In the city of Rusa, he's the star among clairvoyants and miracle workers. People come from all over Bulgaria to consult him. Just now, he has to deal with an acute case of lovesickness. Yakim's treatments are not cheap. But he helps the commissioner for free. They're old acquaintances. Yakim Mikhailov is considered a volunteer assistant of the police who frequently ask for his advice. The woman you are seeking was murdered by her brother, chopped up and thrown into the Danube in a backpack. Your information last year, Yakim, was correct. Under hypnosis, you told us the license number and other details about the Romanian who killed the waitress. Psychologist Yulia Doncheva is not surprised that police investigators put more trust in the supernatural than in proper police work. She says she's registered a rise in the use of clairvoyance and miracle workers since the demise of communism in Bulgaria, a trend covered extensively in the Bulgarian press. Since the fall of communism, most Bulgarians haven't learned how to deal independently with a problem or conflict. Especially now in a time of crisis, when many have lost their jobs and are desperate, people look for a miracle. It's considered scandalous to go to a psychologist, but miracle workers are accepted. The commissioner wants to be absolutely certain. He needs a specialist. The soothsayer Mitka communicates with the dead. Dimitar Hristov wants her to find out whether the missing woman really is dead. He describes the case. Mitka's not sure. She needs support, so she calls a colleague. A call interrupts the consultation. A client wants Mitka to cure his blood pressure ailment by telephone. No problem for Mitka. Diagnosis and therapy by telephone are just part of her repertoire. And then it's down to business. Members of the Galactica grouping, Elka, Anka and Mitka, conjure the spirits, speak to the dead in their bid to help the police.